Crazy weapons, guys. Crazy weapons. Crazy Listen, weapons. They're so crazy. I think that some of them are crazy. They're crazy to me. And are these military weapons? Uh, yes. All of them are military weapons. So these were funded by a government. Yes. Damn it. What do you think that is? A flashlight. Yeah. Looks like a flashlight. Looks like a flashlight. Do you guys remember Minority Report, the movie I think Tom Cruise was yeah. in? Yeah. Yeah, where they would, like, predict crimes before they happen. Right. And they had six sticks. Yeah, yeah, you would hit the guy and he would throw up. Oh, really? Yeah. It makes yeah. you sick. This is like that. That makes you sick. What? There's, what, the Navy developed something and like... Two it sprays bird flu at you. <laughs> no, it's like in 2009, in 2009, they, they, the Navy was fucking with this. I think it was around that time. And at the same time when the Navy was making this, the Homeland Security Department was like, we're going to make one too. Like, I don't get that. Like, we're all together, well, Now I right? want to make one. Yeah, why, why are you wanting to make one? Oh, they, man, they, those they, defense contractors don't give a shit. But it's the money is insane, but they did an LED, and then that's actually what this one looks like. So maybe this is a picture of that one. LED incapacitator that emits a rapid pulse of different colored lights to cause dizziness, headaches, and vomiting. Is it made for torture? Well, I think it... It's made to stop people. It's still like, hey, there's a, there's a situation here right now. I need to, to get the upper hand on this guy without really hurting him. Let me, let me make some street pizzas. Imagine you go into a village... And there's a bunch of like angry uh, moms and kids and teenagers. Like we we don't want to shoot everybody. No, yeah, blink some lights at them. Make Let's them just make cute. them all throw up. <laughs> That'll teach them. Yeah. This guy right here. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah. Wait, is that gun bent around the corner? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, that's sweet. Does the bullet actually turn, or does it just fire from just that end it piece? It must from that point because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. Oh no, the it, hinge system. It is, looks is, like there's a pistol mounted to the front. Yeah, this is either, it's either a yeah. semi-automatic pistol or it's a grenade launcher. It sounds like you skimmed through the details on this because it's either this or no. it's this. No, you can I'm attach a grenade launcher or a pistol to that's it, That's what right? I'm saying. It's oh. one or the, it's two weapons have this, this oh. hinge technology. So probably that pistol goes on the end and there's a mechanism that pulls the trigger. When you pull that trigger, it pulls the trigger, trigger of the pistol, right? Yeah. So now, how do you how do you aim that thing? There, there's a camera there, so you're looking at a camera. I don't see the camera right now, but apparently that's what you're doing. Also, like like you know, I, I guess I'm like one of these uh, LED flip out yeah, little, little flip out yeah. things. Yeah, exactly. So like that's we can't how you see do it. It's it, it on the other side of the gun. That's great. Okay. Neat. So that's very cool. That is a crazy weapon. <laughs> now, if that shot bird flew, we'd have something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy. Right what the fuck? Listen. This guy's the. Fa I would pronounce this the phaser. P H A S R. <laughs> that thing looks ridiculous. That right. gun impregnates chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it shoots it like it something does. out of a damn sci-fi movie. It shoots man. dolphins. It temporarily blinds you. It looks like a dolphin. It blinds you. Yeah, with focused laser beams. There are with how uh, ugly it is. So this guy just sits up on a hill and points out at people's eyes. Yes, the laser lights, which operate an alternative wavelength, serve to disorient people who look at them, rendering them unable to. Stand, let alone fight. Two of your weapons so far have been non-lethal. Yeah, a lot of them actually. You know what? That'd make a good movie. Non-lethal weapon two, or three. <laughs> with this, with this ugly ass gun. Yeah. Well, this and the, the sick flashlight. Hold yeah. this, Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I'm getting too old for this shit. Now this, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what he says. Yeah. Yeah. This has got such a, a pompous name to me, the Active Denial System. Okay. That's what it's called, the, the Active, active denial, denial System. That's, I will that actively stops you deny. from making a, a three-pointer. Yeah. And this one, this one they say is non-lethal, but I'm guessing this can fuck somebody up because it's a heat gun. Oh, a heat gun. That's what this oh, is. Gun. And it says it transmits an invisible electromagnetic radiation beam that creates a burning sensation on people's skin, sending them running. It's called, it, apparently that's called the goodbye effect. So you could clear out a whole area of people with this thing. With it from a distance of up to 500 yards, you can wow. do that, Which is pretty nuts. That's, that's a long way. So. Yeah. So, um, you got a big angry mob out there. I want to see videos of this shit actually working because this all all of these things sound crazy. Yeah, they do sound nuts. But but this is stuff that exists now, and and they say that this is going to get to the point soon because it works well to be like tear gas and rubber bullets. Right. Yeah. When you're in a situation like that, in you know, so when a riot happens, you bring in these guys. Yeah. Instead of spraying people with water hoses, now we're going to set them on fire. Yeah, give them now the see, goodbye effect. Quantum stealth. Do you guys see this? What's going I, on I, here? I yeah. It looks like a Photoshop it, picture. It, it does look like now, a, is this real? Apparently, this is real. And, and, and if it's not real, I've been fooled. Yeah. So, But I've seen enough 
things to go, oh, this is an actual thing. I'm not buying this one. All right, well, apparently it camouflages people by bending light around the object it is hiding, and then it turns pretty much invisible. And maybe I was duped. The way I've always heard it, in theory, it work. You have little cameras on one side of you and little LED lights on the front of you. Yeah, but and do it, it basically makes your shirt into a television screen. Right. It's projecting what's that behind you. That would only you. work on one side, though, unless you had cameras and LED on both sides, right? Yeah, you'd have to have tiny little cameras on both sides and LEDs on both sides. Maybe I just gave in some bullshit. Or... I want to see a video of that, though. I mean, that, I mean, the idea is cool. I've always wanted, and like... here's a magic carpet yeah. that Simon found. I've always wanted Predator gear so I can finally run into the women's bathroom. All right, so this is a digital revolver, Ooh. and it has a safety mechanism that can only be disabled if the operator is also wearing a special wrist watch like that guy. Okay. And basically just oh. sends a signal to the gun. So you're only allowed to do it. The wristwatch itself only becomes... So no one else can use that gun but the watch wearer. Exactly, because the wristwatch itself only becomes active once you do the fingerprint thing. Ah. So you do that, and, and that's got that. if you put the gun down, you can't tell the time. No, you still have the Unless wristwatch you have on. The gun yeah, you, you. No, you still have the right. watch on. So but nobody, does it work? You mean, does it tell time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You well, the gun doesn't work without the watch. It makes sense if the watch didn't work without the gun. That wouldn't make that sense. That makes perfect watch sense. What time is it? I don't know. You need the gun. Line. No, you but don't. I, you don't need the fucking gun. People say this is supposed to... I mean, this is the way it should be. That's from now on. It's the guy got the problem. cop's gun. Now what? Nothing. You Nothing. can't use it. You don't have the watch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, reach for my gun. I don't, and I don't give a have shit. the time because I'm a gun. These guns are probably like $13,000 a piece at least. Yeah, but now. That's now. Yeah. So that's the only difference. It doesn't shoot digital nope. bullets. No, no. Okay. It's the same thing. What would it, what would a digital bullet be? I don't know, but digital gun it seems a bit high tech for that name when all it does is doesn't shoot when you don't have the yeah, thing. fingerprint gun. Digital bullets will be made out of bitcoins. Tactical assault light operating suit. That looks fun. That's what that is. He looks like a superhero. What, what does this do? There's night vision with this. So you uh, attach to this somehow. Something comes down over your eyes so you have night nah. vision. You're totally protected from bullets and fire. It's pretty cool. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah. I think this is just a guy at a Halo cosplay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's at Comic-Con. This is Comic-Con. But this guy... He's doing push-ups. Yeah, with, he's doing push-ups with, with a, a lot really of, big bag on his back. A lot of freaking weight. He's got, yeah, one of these uh, exoskeletons that yeah. basically allows you to carry more weight than a human being is supposed to be able to carry. I, this is fucking the future. Uh, like, I'm just picturing these guys getting dropped off somewhere, and there's a hundred of these guys just running around. Now, this was used in uh, another Tom Cruise movie. Was it? Where we kept doing the same day over and over again? Oh, yeah. Groundhog Day, yeah. No, Groundhog no, Day no, with it's Tom like Cruise. Groundhog Day meets um, Starship Troopers. I, I know exactly what movie you're talking about, but I can't remember the name of it. The day Tom Cruise... Fought the war. Tomorrow? I feel like tomorrow is... Tomorrow oh, ever after. I know what you're tomorrow, talking about. I never saw the movie. We're idiots. But anyway, anyway, who gives a shit? You're going to have to... We can't... Edge of tomorrow. 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 Oh, thank God With we Bill figured Murray. that out. With well, Bill you Murray. have to. Yeah. And if you're doing Andy a video... I know. Tom Cruise had like... Did he have an exoskeleton suit in that? Yeah, they yeah, were. Yeah, he did. Yeah. You know what's cool about this? What? You can carry 17 times more weight than you'd normally be able to Damn, carry. It's like an ant suit. So basically, and what it's saying is, if you can carry seventeen pounds, you Simon. can carry. Yeah, fuck you. You can carry. <laughs> you can carry four hundred pounds, and the four hundred pounds feels like twenty three pounds. And you could run up to ten miles an hour. By the way, here's what I think is great. That's not fast, is it? No, but when the thing is, oh, you're while running, you're wearing that, while ca- you're wearing this thing, fourteen pounds. Oh no, I don't know about the fourteen pounds or four hundred, but I, you can go up to ten miles an hour, and that is great because it's you're burning the energy of of barely walking. Okay. In this thing. So it's taking away all of that stuff from you so you can just do a lot more. Man, I want to put one on. I think that maybe developing this for the military first kind of tells us a lot about our country, seeing as how maybe there's people out there with physical abilities that could no, use I've this. No, I've actually seen that. Oh, good. On a TED Talk. Yeah? A lady that couldn't walk was walking with this. Oh, yeah. good. No, they, oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they are just... definitely making some of this. <clears throat> hey, but I'm going to tell you this, though. Don't let the elderly get a hold of these things. Because then it, it just goes back to the way it was. Yep. I'm 20 again. I'm going to get that ball out of my yard, and I'm going to crush it with my giant mechanical foot. Mm-hmm. I can fuck 17 times better than I used to. Wait, that's a problem nowadays. What, balls in the yard? STDs in retirement homes. Yeah, oh. I know. They're just banging, banging, banging. Now that Viagra came out? Yeah. Can oh. you blame them? They should be more careful. Now, no. this bullet has stuff in it. Yeah. Now, that's a digital bullet. Exacto bullet, actually. Exacto the exacto bullet. Exacto bullet. Exacto bullet. A self-guided bullet that can be fired at a target from up to one mile away. The farther the distance, the better. 
Oh, so, uh, I fucked that up. The farther the distance, the better going it for. I wrote it wrong, so I can't <laughs> read that right. <laughs> The better going it for. I gotta keep the it. further the better the going I, it distant. I Basically, better that's, can too war for. <laughs> that's what Exacto it comes down bullet. to. Exacto. <laughs> Fucks up your speech. So, so wait. So the farther away you're trying to shoot, the more reliable it is because it has more time to adjust. But this motherfucker follows you. Now, I already know you're gonna ask me a question. I don't have the answer for names. How does it know what to hit? Exactly. <laughs> a big question that I should know, but I don't. So we're going to just ignore maybe that. This. Laser, like laser pointed. Maybe there's a camera. When you aim it, it takes an image of pixels and it tries to match those pixels as it moves forward. That's how I'd build it. This reminds me of the fifth element. Remember that gun that just shoots the yes! one target? The one Gary, uh, Gary Oldman had in that movie? Ah, I want that gun. This video just made me want to go watch a bunch of badass sci-fi movies. Fifth Element, Edge of Tomorrow, Minority Report. Guys in the comments, tell us what your favorite sci-fi movies are. Journey to the Center of the Earth. Groundhog Day. The original Alien was probably one of the few that I can remember ever seeing. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. And that's it. That's all? That's all we had. We want more. We want more. We want more. We want horse. We want horse. Okay, now this turned into sex. We can't do that. You're switching things around.